there. So this is another park area called Yu 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 Park. I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the name here. Um, but this is around Shibuya, so this is a really, really cool area because you just walk straight down the middle and there's trees o overlaying the whole way. And for some reason, there is a massive lineup. I don't know where it's going, but it goes for like hundreds of meters. I'll see where it goes. Okay, so the lineup splits here so people can cross. And it goes all the way up there. Then I think it zigzags back around up here. What is up here? So I've been walking for about three minutes now. Still don't know when the lineup's going to end, but I think it's almost coming to an end. Where does it go? Is this it around here? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that lineup was just to meet someone really, really important. <laughs> there was like thousands and thousands of people. But I would not want to wait hours and hours and hours for that. Um, and something else is happening right here too. What is, who is this? Soji Temple, but check out this madness. It's nuts. one tourist area and it is just super crowded and overpopulated but then next minute you go outside of that tourist area and there is nobody nice peace and quiet not too sure where this leads but I'm just gonna follow the big red arrow Let's move it. Yeah, I think there's a protest on there. I've seen this spot in a lot of photos before, but I couldn't figure out where it was. I just stumbled upon it. So it is pretty much just a place full of mirrors. Let's check it out.
I keep saying it every single day, but this would literally have to be the busiest time I've been in Japan. You know? It is chaotic. Alright, so this is actually my last full day in Tokyo, but I still got so much more things that I want to see. So I'm going to try to cram it all in today at this moment. So right now I'm going to the Tokyo Tower, and after that I'm going to try to check out the big Gundaman statue. Apparently it's huge. And then I'll get a train over back to Shibuya. So I'm going to see the Shibuya Crossing, which is pretty impressive. And then I'm going to end it by going back to Shinjuku, to see the city at night there and then I'll go back to my hostel and collapse. It is impossible to do one set thing around here. I, I saw those cool fish things and then I followed that and then now I'm at some park. <laughs> get distracted way too much. No, says the pigeon, don't feed me. <laughs> cool car. There she is. Tokyo Tower. Woo. All right, so Tokyo Tower tick. Now for the gunman statue. Okay, so I've made it to a new little district and it seems like there's so much to do here as well. So this is where the big gunman statue is, but there's so much more than that. And like right over there, there's like a festival going on. But let's see how much time I got to check out as much as I can here. What are you supposed to be? A bit early for Oktoberfest, don't you think? Today just full of surprises. Oh hey, there's the gunman statue. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Looks like a giant transformer. Oh. How cool would it be if you could just jump inside that thing and take control? That would be pretty awesome. Then you can become your own transformer. Or gunman. Wow, that is a lot of stairs. Tokyo, you just keep surprising me. They even have their own mini Statue of Liberty. <laughs> As I keep saying, I never know what I'm going to see around here. So there's so much more I'd love to see in this area, but I only have a limited amount of time and I really want to go to Shibuya, so let's go. Alright, so I've made it to Shibuya and luckily enough, right behind me, that's the famous Shibuya Crossing. <laughs> I didn't realise it, but I've actually got a great view here from the train station. But also, there's a Starbucks coffee place just over there, and they say you can get a really good view from there. But I reckon here's good enough, so I'm gonna get a good time lapse of the crossing. And also, they said every time someone crosses, it's 1,500 people every time, and approximately 2 million a day. How crazy is that? Right, uh, let's get a cool time lapse. Holy dooly, what an awesome way to spend my last day in Tokyo. I have done so much today, guys. Like, oh, it has just been nuts. If I, and if I had the chance, I would definitely come back to Tokyo, but I'll probably come back for like one whole month and then just spend it in different regions around Tokyo because there's so much, so, so much more to see. But, I'm sorry to say I probably won't be seeing much of Shinjuku tonight because it's getting way too late, it's pouring down rain. But 
I'm going to end the vlog here. <laughs> Through the Shibuya crossing. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. I changed my mind. Before I go, I'm going to have to show you guys Shinjuku at night. I have time now. Because <laughs> this place is way too good to resist. So, I'm going to give you a quick detour. Let's go. Okay, so this place behind me is called Robot Restaurant. I really, really wish I had enough time to see this because I definitely would. But if you're in this area in Shinjuku, definitely check out Robot Restaurant because I heard it is insane. No way, guys. This can't be true. This is a rare sighting here in Tokyo. <laughs> it is. Godzilla! Oh my god! Ah. Well, I hope you guys' mind is blown from seeing Shinjuku at night because I have gotten absolutely drenched just for this. I'm pretty sure I'm like the only one without an umbrella around here. But this is the real goodbye, so thanks for watching, and see you later.